Imagine the fury of the ocean turning into an adversary strong enough to topple giants. What happens when human engineering marvels meet the unbridled force of nature? Today, we're delving into the chilling saga of the Seacrest drill ship, an oil field giant that succumbed to the wrath of the sea. Let's dive into it. The men who escaped from a shattered platform and a... 164 men are almost certainly the dead. The platform was one of the oldest, the biggest and most profitable. So some of men run up. Uh, Derek always wish and hope to be evacuated by helicopter. The inferno and the smoke was so much that the people who tried all the exit. Unexpected disaster. On a seemingly typical day aboard the Seacrest drill ship, the crew was immersed in their routine tasks, surrounded by the vastness of the ocean. The ship, a towering structure of steel and technology, was designed to harness the Earth's natural resources anchored in the deep sea. The sun cast its usual glow over the deck, and the gentle sway of the waves provided a rhythmic backdrop to the day's work. However, this tranquility was misleading, a deceptive calm that masked the brewing storm on the horizon. As the day progressed, the skies began to darken, and the once gentle waves started to swell with a newfound intensity. The crew, experienced in their trade, had weathered storms before, but nothing could have prepared them for the magnitude of the tempest that was about to unfold. Within hours, what started as a distant rumble transformed into a roaring tempest, the likes of which even the seasoned sailors had seldom seen. The Seacrest drill ship, despite its robust construction and advanced technological systems, was not impervious to the merciless power of nature. The raging storm, with winds howling like enraged beasts and waves rising like towering walls of water, began to assault the drill ship. The vessel, caught in the fierce embrace of the storm, battled to maintain its footing in the face of overwhelming odds. The crew worked frantically to secure equipment and brace for the impact, but the storm's fury was relentless. In the midst of this chaos, the unthinkable happened. A colossal wave, larger than any that had come before, struck the Seacrest drill ship with a force that defied belief. The impact was catastrophic, tilting the massive structure beyond its tipping point. In these critical moments, the drill ship, once a symbol of human engineering and determination, succumbed to the storm's might, beginning its tragic descent into the depths of the ocean. This disaster not only marked a somber chapter in the history of oil field explorations, but also served as a stark reminder of the unpredictable and often unforgiving nature of the sea. Let's explore more details about it. Storm's Fury. As dawn broke over the horizon, the Seacrest drill ship was stationed placidly in the heart of the ocean, its crew going about their daily routines under the assumption of another routine day. The sea, often a restless expanse of moving tides and currents, was unusually calm, its surface smooth like a vast glassy mirror reflecting the early morning sky. However, this serenity was not to last. Within a few hours, the atmosphere began to shift dramatically, signaling the onset of a storm that would etch its name in maritime history. The sky, once clear and blue, darkened ominously as towering clouds rolled in, converging above the drill ship. The air grew heavy, charged with an electric tension that seemed to herald the impending chaos. The first signs of the storm's fury were subtle, a gentle increase in the breeze, a slight chop on the water's surface. But these were mere precursors to what was to unfold. As the storm approached, the wind escalated from a whisper to a roar, its howls resonating through the drill ship's superstructure. The sea, stirred into a frenzy by the tempestuous winds, began to swell, its waves growing larger and more menacing with each passing moment. These were no longer mere waves. They were colossal walls of water, each one seemingly vying to outdo the last in size and ferocity, crashing against the drill ship with a force that shook its very foundations. The Seacrest, a testament to human ingenuity and engineering, 
was designed to withstand harsh marine environments. Yet, as the storm unleashed its full might, it became increasingly evident that the vessel was facing an adversary of overwhelming power. The drill ship, caught in the storm's unforgiving grip, struggled to maintain its bearing. Each wave that struck seemed to challenge the limits of its structural integrity. The once sturdy platform, a hive of activity and machine prowess, now creaked and groaned under the relentless barrage of wind and water. The crew, seasoned in their maritime experience, worked feverishly to secure equipment, batten down hatches, and stabilize the vessel. Despite their efforts, the drill ship began to pitch and roll alarmingly, tossed about like a toy in the hands of an unseen giant. The storm, indifferent to human endeavors, continued its onslaught, with each gust of wind and surge of wave further testing the Seacrest's capabilities. Engineering versus nature. In the gripping tale of the Seacrest drill ship, the long-standing battle between engineering and nature reached a climactic point. This vessel, a marvel of modern engineering, was designed with the utmost precision and care. Engineers equipped it with cutting-edge technology and robust structural elements, ensuring it could withstand the harsh realities of the open sea. Every bolt, every steel plate, and every system on board was a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to conquer challenging environments. The drill ship's design was a product of meticulous calculations and simulations. Engineers considered a wide range of oceanic conditions, from gentle waves to aggressive storms. The ship's hull, reinforced to resist immense pressure and rough waters, was a bulwark against the ocean's unpredictable nature. Its stabilization systems, advanced navigation, and drilling equipment were all top of the line, designed to maintain operational integrity even in adverse conditions. However, the natural world operates on a scale and with a force that often defies human calculations. Nature, in its raw and unbridled form, is a force that does not adhere to our expectations or designs. When the storm descended upon the Seacrest drill ship, it brought with it an intensity and ferocity that went far beyond standard anticipations. The waves, towering and relentless, were not just water, but immense forces of energy, each one capable of altering the fate of this colossal structure. The winds, howling with unfathomable power, tore through the air, challenging the vessel's stability and resilience. The capsizing moment. The capsizing of the Seacrest drill ship was a moment marked by chaos and disbelief. As the storm escalated, the crew braced for rough weather, but nothing could have prepared them for the ferocity of the waves that followed. Towering walls of water, whipped up by gale force winds, battered the drill ship relentlessly. The vessel, a titan of steel and technology, designed to endure the rigors of the sea, began to falter under the onslaught. In these critical moments, the drill ship's advanced stabilization systems, usually reliable, were overwhelmed. The ocean's power, unpredictable and unyielding, pushed the vessel beyond its limits. The drill ship, caught in the tempest, tilted dangerously. Alarms blared and the crew rushed to execute emergency protocols, but the sea was unforgiving. As water flooded the decks, the once steady giant of the sea began to tilt at a perilous angle. The drill ship's massive structure, now at the mercy of the raging storm, succumbed to the overwhelming force. In a slow, almost surreal motion, the vessel capsized, plunging into the tumultuous waters. Equipment and machinery, once securely fastened, were torn loose, adding to the chaos as the drill ship turned over. In the aftermath, as the storm raged on, the once mighty Seacrest drill ship lay capsized, a stark reminder of nature's untamed power and the vulnerability of even the most robust human creations in the face of such elemental forces. Aftermath and Rescue Efforts In the wake of the Seacrest drill ship capsizing, a frantic and complex rescue operation was launched. The severity of the storm made the efforts extraordinarily challenging. Rescue teams facing the same treacherous conditions that overwhelmed the drill ship had to navigate monstrous waves and fierce winds. 
Helicopters, braving the turbulent skies, became beacons of hope in the dark, stormy horizon. Ships in the vicinity diverted their course, converging on the disaster site to lend aid. Each minute was a battle against time and nature. The rescuers faced a daunting task, locating survivors in the vast, angry ocean. Communication was hindered by the storm, making coordination between the teams a feat of skill and patience. Despite these hurdles, the rescue personnel persisted, driven by the urgency to save lives. In the hours following the disaster, survivors were found clinging to debris, lifeboats, and even parts of the capsized drill ship. Their rescue was a testament to human resilience and the bravery of the teams who risked their lives in the rescue operation. Medical teams on the rescue ships and helicopters provided immediate care, a crucial factor in the survival of those rescued. The aftermath of the rescue brought to light the harsh realities of such disasters. Families and friends awaited news, clinging to hope amidst uncertainty. The impact of the tragedy extended beyond the immediate loss of the drill ship and its economic implications. It was a sobering reminder of the perils faced by those who work in the oil field industry, often far from the safety and comforts of the shore. The days following the incident saw an outpouring of support from the global community. Investigations were launched to understand the causes of the capsizing and to prevent future occurrences. This event not only highlighted the bravery and skill of the rescue teams, but also underscored the need for stringent safety measures in the oil drilling industry. It was a moment that would forever change the perspective on the safety and preparedness needed in the face of nature's unpredictable fury. Safety measures. Safety measures in the oil field industry, particularly for drill ships like the Seacrest, have undergone significant advancements following disastrous incidents. These measures are multifaceted, focusing on both prevention and response. Initially, the emphasis is on rigorous weather monitoring systems. Advanced satellite technology and oceanographic data are now integral to predicting storm patterns and their potential impact on drilling operations. This allows for timely evacuation or preventive actions before a storm hits. Further, the structural integrity of drill ships has been enhanced. They are designed to withstand extreme weather with improvements in hull strength and stability systems that can adapt to sudden changes in sea conditions. Emergency training for crew members is another critical aspect. Regular drills simulate various disaster scenarios, ensuring that every crew member is well-versed in emergency protocols, from evacuation procedures to operating life-saving equipment. In terms of equipment, high-tech safety gear is now standard. This includes survival suits that can protect against hypothermia in cold waters, advanced lifeboats that can be deployed quickly, and communication devices that remain functional even in harsh conditions. Environmental safety also plays a crucial role. Spill prevention and containment systems are more robust than ever, designed to minimize environmental impact in the event of an accident. Regular inspections and maintenance of drilling equipment ensure that any potential issues are identified and addressed before they lead to a catastrophe. In essence, the oil field industry has taken comprehensive steps to bolster safety measures, learning from past incidents to prevent future disasters. These enhanced safety protocols not only protect the lives of those working on drill ships, but also safeguard the environment from the risks associated with offshore drilling. Lessons learned. In the wake of the Seacrest drill ship catastrophe, the oil industry was compelled to reevaluate and significantly enhance its safety and operational standards. This disaster underscored the vital importance of advanced safety protocols, which go beyond the realms of theoretical design and extend into the practical aspects of day-to-day -day operations. One of the foremost lessons learned was the need for robust and reliable storm tracking systems. In the past, reliance on basic weather reports was commonplace, but the Seacrest incident highlighted the inadequacy of this approach. The industry shifted towards integrating sophisticated meteorological tracking technologies, enabling more accurate predictions and timely warnings about severe weather patterns. This advancement allows crews ample time 
to either evacuate or implement necessary measures to secure the equipment, significantly reducing the risk of similar disasters. Another pivotal change was in the realm of emergency preparedness and crew training. The incident brought to light that while having state-of-the-art equipment is crucial, the human element cannot be overlooked. Regular drills and training sessions became mandatory, focusing on emergency evacuation, crisis management, and survival techniques in hostile sea conditions. This ensures that every crew member, not just the emergency response team, is prepared to handle unforeseen events effectively. The design of drill ships and other offshore structures also underwent a transformation. Earlier, the focus was primarily on functionality and efficiency, but post Sea Crest, safety became a paramount concern. This led to the incorporation of multiple redundant safety systems in drill ship designs. These systems are engineered to take over in case of a primary system failure, providing an additional layer of security against disasters. For instance, improved life-saving equipment, better lifeboat accessibility, and enhanced structural integrity to withstand rough seas became standard features. Furthermore, the environmental impact of the Seacrest disaster catalyzed a shift in regulatory frameworks governing oil field operations. Stricter guidelines were implemented for immediate response to oil spills, aiming to minimize environmental damage. Protocols for ecological preservation and mitigation strategies in the event of an environmental crisis were also developed and rigorously enforced. Finally, the Seacrest drill ship incident serves as a continuous reminder to the industry of the unpredictable and often uncontrollable power of nature. It has instilled a culture of respect for the ocean's might and an understanding of the importance of preparedness. This event not only reshaped safety protocols in the oil industry, but also served as a crucial learning point for various sectors where operations intersect with the powerful forces of nature. Environmental Impact The environmental impact of the Seacrest drill ship capsizing is a stark reminder of the fragile balance between industrial activities and nature's ecosystems. When the drill ship capsized, it wasn't just a loss of human engineering. It was also a significant threat to the marine environment. The immediate concern was the potential release of drilling fluids and oil into the ocean, leading to pollution that could have devastating effects on marine life. These substances can coat the feathers of seabirds, reducing their insulating ability and buoyancy. For marine mammals, exposure to oil disrupts their thermal regulation and impairs their reproductive and immune systems. The repercussions extend beyond the immediate vicinity of the disaster. Oil spills can travel vast distances, affecting coastlines, contaminating breeding grounds for fish, and impacting coral reefs. The delicate balance of marine ecosystems can be disrupted, leading to a decline in biodiversity. Additionally, the chemicals used in drilling operations pose a significant risk. These substances can enter the food chain, causing long-term ecological changes. The sediment disturbance from the drill ship also impacts benthic organisms, which play a crucial role in the ocean's food web. Furthermore, the disaster highlights the broader issue of how offshore drilling operations can affect the ocean's health. The physical presence of drill ships and the noise from drilling disrupt migratory patterns and communication among marine species. This capsizing incident serves as a somber example of the need for stringent environmental safeguards in offshore drilling operations and the importance of developing sustainable practices to minimize ecological footprints in oceanic environments. If this deep dive into one of the oil field's darkest days has captivated you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more untold stories of human endeavors and nature's might. Check out our other videos for more fascinating insights into the world of extraordinary events. And if you've got thoughts or stories to share about this incident or similar experiences, drop a comment below. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring with us.